children? Did you find out any story using the, the letters that we have learned so far? We did till M. Now let's look at N, O, P and Q. Okay, so now we start with our friend called N. And what is the sound that this friend produces? N, N, N. Okay, N. All right. So do you see a little girl and her name is N, N, Nina. N, N, Nina. Now Nina loves to get dressed up. I think all the girls who are watching this, all of you love to get dressed up, right? With beautiful, you know, um, with makeup, with a lot of accessories, with beautiful dress. So even Nina loved to dress up and put makeup. So one fine day, she had to go out to eat with her friends in a restaurant. So what she did was, she took a needle and she made a necklace for herself. Do you see this beautiful necklace that she's wearing on her neck? N -n neck. So she used a needle and she made a beautiful necklace. Then what did she do? She wanted to look really pretty. She brushed her hair, put makeup and in her nail, on her nail, she wore nail polish. On her nail, she wore red color nail polish. Now she was really, you know, dressed beautifully and she went out for a beautiful day with her friends at the restaurant. While she was walking, she slipped and her foot fell on a nail. Her foot fell on a nail. She screamed with pain. Just then, there was a bird in the nest. There was a bird in the nest making, hatching the eggs. She flew and came to Nina. And she said, what happened, Nina? Why are you crying? Nina was surprised. And she said, can you talk? The little bird said, yes, of course. Since you are a very good girl, all good girls, all good children, we talk to. And I see you in pain. What happened? Then Nina said, it seems a nail has gone inside my leg. Can you help me? The bird said, of course. She used her beak and pulled the nail out. She used her beak and pulled the nail out. Just then, she remembered that the eggs are still lying in the nest. So she said, Nina, Nina, I will fly back to my babies who are still inside the egg. I hope you are fine now. Nina said, yes, it's just a little bit bleeding. Then the bird said, do you have a napkin? I will wipe off the blood from your foot. Nina took her purse, took the napkin out and gave to the bird. The bird again used her beak and cleaned the wound. And she said, Nina, before going to the restaurant, just get yourself a, an adhesive, I mean, a kind of a tape and seal the wound so that it gets healed. Nina said, of course, birdie. Thank you very much for your help. The bird flew back to its nest and Nina though she had difficulty in walking, walked up to a nearby medical store. So, this was Nina's story, who wanted to dress up really well for her restaurant outing with her friends. She took a needle, she made a necklace, wore it in her neck, she polished her nails, I mean, she painted her nails, and she went out to walk. I mean, she went out for her day out. Suddenly she fell and a nail went inside her foot. There was a nest near, uh, there was a bird nearby in her nest. She came, helped Nina and also dabbed the wound with a napkin. Okay, so n, n, Nina, n, n, nail, n, n, 
nil, n n nest, n n napkin, n n nail. All right. So whenever you go out, be careful that you don't topple down or don't fall down. Okay. What's the next sound? The letter O, and it's a vowel. O. But what is the sound that O produces? A. O produces. Oh, ah. So the story is about an ox, and the ox's name was Ollie. The name of the ox was Ollie. Ollie had a friend who was Octopus. The ox Ollie and Octopus Augie were really good friends. Ollie ox and Augie octopus were very good friends. One fine day, Ollie ox invite, invited Augie octopus for a dinner. Augie octopus was really excited because Ollie ox used to cook awesome dinner. So Augie octopus carried a basket full of Oranges for Ollie ox because Ollie ox loved oranges. Augie octopus reached Ollie ox's house and pressed the bell. When Ollie came, Augie said, "Hey Ollie, how are you doing? I have got a basket of oranges for you." Ollie was really happy. Ollie hugged Augie and said. Come inside, Augie. I have made your favorite dish using olive oil because Augie octopus only eats healthy food. So Ollie ox had made omelet using olive oil, and they both sat in the dining room, had a sumptuous lunch. That is. Omelet. So, how was Augie and Ollie's friendship? That is how you should have, right? This kind of friends you should have in your life, who love you and who care for you, just like Augie brought Ollie's favorite oranges, and Ollie made omelet using olive oil because Augie octopus doesn't eat unhealthy food. Okay, so this was the story of. Ali and Agi, a a Ali, a a Agi, a a octopus, a a ox, a a olive oil, a a omelet. So what all did we see? We have seen that the letter O has the sound O, and what does O stand for? Octopus, ox, oil, orange. And omelet. Now let's go and see who else is there in our list. Okay, so now we have our friend, and the friend's name is P. And what is the sound that P produces? P. 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 Again, we have a girl. Little girl, her name is Priya, and Priya was very pretty. Pa pa pretty, pa pa Priya, pa pa pretty, pretty. And what did Priya love to do? Priya loved pets or pets. Priya loved pa pa pets. And what kind of Pets did Priya have? She had a puppy. Pa pa puppy. She had a pet, and the pet was puppy. Pa pa puppy. She also had a pet bird, pigeon. Pa pa pigeon. Also, she had a very naughty and talkative. Parrot as one of her pets, 
And do you know what else did she have? She also had a little pa pa penguin. Pa pa penguin. So Priya had pets, puppy, pigeon, parrot, and penguin. And what she did was she used to invite her friends home to her pet store and they all used to come and play with these pets. They used to come and play with the pets. So Priya, a pretty girl, used to invite her friends to play with the pets. Puppy, penguin, pigeon and parrot. Do you also have pets in your home? If you have, I'm sure you love your pets a lot. Okay, so we saw N, O, P. Now we are going to look at our next friend. And who is this friend of ours? This friend is a difficult letter. Q. Q. And what is the sound that this letter produces? Qua. Qua. Okay, the sound is qua. Now this story is about a queen. About a queen who always liked quietness. She always used to tell people, be quiet. She did not want any noise in her house, in her palace. So this queen, nobody dared to talk when they were inside the palace because she always wanted everybody to be quiet. Everybody to be qua, qua, quiet. One fine day, early in the morning, while she wanted to put the quilt up on her face because she wanted to sleep for some more time, she heard a noise. She had a questioning face. Who is making that noise in my palace? I do not want anybody to be making noise in my palace. She, she threw her quilt out. She jumped off her bed and she went to the window from where the sound was coming. Then she saw there was a quail who was making that sound. She shouted at the quail, how dare you make the sound here? Don't you know this is a quiet palace? The quail said, oh queen, if there is silence around, how will you listen to the voices of the people? How will you know what are their pains? You are supposed to take care of them, aren't you? So I have a message for you. Rather than shutting people up, making them qua, qua, quiet, take these words from the qua, qua, quail, that silence does not always solve your purposes. If you want to solve people's problems, ask them to talk. Ask them to talk. Do not quiet them. Do not ask them to be quiet. Do not question them. So the queen realized and she said, you have a point quail because none of my courtyards, none of the people who live around my palace ever come and tell any problems to me. I do not even know how they are, what they do what they eat, what do they work for their survival. You have taught me a lesson. Quietness is fine, but if I need to understand people's problems, I need to talk to them. You have given me a good lesson, quail. Would you love to be a part of my palace? The quail said, I do not mind to be a part of your palace, dear queen, but I love to be in my own, own house whenever you ask this quail will be there at your service. And the queen was very happy to get a friend like quail who made her understand that rather than questioning people and making them quiet, you should ask them to talk. And that is what I also say. You should always talk and express yourself. Do not talk in the class when the teacher is teaching, but otherwise keep talking and expressing yourself because you should only be quiet when necessary and talk when necessary. So, qua, qua, queen, qua, qua, quiet, qua, qua, question, qua, qua, quilt, and qua, 
aqua quail. Okay, so we learned N O P Q N A P Q. Now, will you tell some uh, frame some stories and tell to your friends? Will you do that? That would really be great. In the next section, we are going to look at the other friends of ours. All right, but before that, just keep practicing the sounds and come back and tell what kind of stories you have made using the sounds. I will see you on the other side. Thank you for watching.